Welcome back to Prep Recruiting Insider, PRI here at NOLA Motorsports Park in Avondale. I'm your coach, Rick Gailey, along with our Prep Recruiting Insider, Renee Nato, and we're very fortunate this afternoon to have two of the great Holy Cross athletes. First, wide receiver Michael Chigbu of the Holy Cross Tigers and running back Trey Turner. Welcome, fellas, to PRI. Thank you. Thank you. Michael, I guess I got to ask you because people out there uh, know that you've already committed. Uh, you had uh, a lot of offers from Miami and Notre Dame and Clemson, Mississippi State, Auburn. Why Georgia? What was it that a, a bell went off and told you this is a place I need to be? Um, my final decision between Texas a and and Georgia, I took both my visits, unofficial visits, and I was at Georgia. It was just um, it was something about it just separated from um, the others I've been to, such as Auburn. I had a great time with the coaches, the offense. I just feel like our, our recruiting class is going to be the class that make it different. That I feel like we could be really good in the long run. Um, I just feel like it was the best place to be. Now you're a big guy. You're six two, about two ten, two fifteen. So that's got a you, you, in that size that uh, the big physical receiver, and, and uh, I think that's something that that had attracted coaches' attention. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, uh, Trey, you're a junior. Yes, sir. And. Uh, the thing that jumps out right away is the speed. You've run a 4-3-5, yes, am sir. I correct? Yes, sir. Wow. And the thing about you with, with the recruiting process, you still have a ways to go, but um, watching Michael go through this, uh, how has it kind of maybe helped you knowing what you're going to be going through in just another year or so? I mean, Michael's been really humble about it and about how he's made his decision and stuff like that, So, and how he chose the best fit for him. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and see the college and choose the best fit that's for me. And Norwalk's really got some questions, but there are some, some schools that you kind of got your eye on that's been contacting you that you're interested in right now. Yes, sir. Uh, Mississippi State, Arizona State, they've been really high. ULL, they're going to let me play both baseball and football. So they're, they're really high on my list, too. And then LSU is showing a lot of interest now in Auburn. Now, y'all were in a very interesting situation this year that you had some experience coming back offensively. Uh, the defense had nine new starters. We have two of your defensive players on. Uh, in the next segment, but the offense really had to get started early to try to try to carry the team. Trey, let's start with you. Uh, with that special responsibility, what were some of the things that you had to to work on and 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 show the team that you could do? I just had to be a leader, show show my actions how how you have to play, how you have to play hard. And me coming back, I mean, I played a little bit last year, so coming back and starting this year, I had to show that I'm ready and have them come behind me and have them ready too. And Michael, you are a well-established player coming in, but you, you had to really show all your total skills to be able to lead the football team. Yes, sir. And what were some of those skills? If you're going to convince me that I need to have you on my team, what are you going to tell me? <laughs> my, my competitiveness, my attitude, my size, my speed. I just, just try not to take any plays. I'll just show them what I can do. And I, it's no matter if you make a mistake, just come back to the next play and do it the best you can. And that includes during practice time as well. Yes, sir. Uh, people uh, who aren't connected with football don't realize how much dedication it takes during the course of the week. Because in football, maybe more than any other sport, you play like you practice. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Now, you, Michael, you played basketball and football. And you've only played football for a couple of years now. How has the basketball experience helped you translate into football skills? The biggest thing is uh, like rebounding, going up for the ball. That's probably the best thing. Um, my agility, uh, the stamina, it's, not, it's, it's helped a lot, actually. I guess the two things that, since, uh, since you, you, know, you haven't been in football long, is your route running and your blocking. How, how is that? How, do you, how would you grade yourself as a blocker and a route runner? From last year to this year? Yes. I've improved a lot. How a so? Lot. Um, last year, I was probably about a C. This year, I'll give myself a B. Not a B plus, but a B. Um, every practice I work hard to block from my running back tree and every all my <coughs> receivers and my route running, I got to make everything precise just to help my team. And Trey, something you talked about is baseball. That's something that's real important to you. Yeah. You really want to play yeah. both sports. You're yes, an outfielder, hardening outfielder. Yes, sir. Um, is there sometimes that you just want to be a baseball player and sometimes you just want to be a football player? I mean, during this, like, they have their certain seasons, like football season, I'm focused on football and baseball season, I'm focused on baseball. None, Neither of them outweigh each other, so it's just both of them correlate with each other very well. I just like playing both of them. Now, we all have favorite teams or favorite players when we're growing up. Sometimes 
just because we like the way they play. Sometimes we model our conduct after what, uh, what they've done. Trey, you first. Did you have a special team or team that you really enjoyed or pulled for as you were growing up or perhaps a, a player that you modeled yourself after? I really liked Reggie Bush. I mean, he's fast. He has good size and good, good agility. You know, he's very powerful back, so I kind of modeled myself after him. Great. And Michael, what about you? Had a, had a team that you followed or, or a player? Uh, a player, Des Bryant. Des yeah. Bryant and Michael Cassidy, but mostly Des Bryant. And what did you like about Des Bryant? His attitude. He, I feel like me and him kind of have a similar attributes. His attitude, his competitiveness, his, his emotion for the game, his love for the game. I feel like it's just very attractive. This year, on your senior journey, you're a junior, but what tells you, what telltale sign, Michael, is it that this could be a special year for you guys, that you might be playing along into the playoffs? Is there something happening in off-season, summer, or, or something happened thus far this year? Is Coach Robado just came out. He was focused on making the team better and having the players follow what he's doing, like buy into what he's doing. And I think that's really helped us this year going forward to buy into what he's doing. He has a good thing going for his team, and it's going to really help us go far in the playoffs. Michael, anything that this, you feel like this offense has, has developed maybe a lot since last year that this could be a special year for you? Yes, yeah, so sir. We had a lot of doubters, but over the summer, we worked hard all summer and all in our camp. And we saw, we saw like glimpses of what we could really, like what our potential could be. So I'm just waiting for us to uh, put it all together. Now we have the last uh, couple of minutes here. I'm going to ask both of you, because practice, as we talked about, is so important. Trey, tell us what you've done well so far in this coming season, but what you're going to work on for the rest of this week getting ready for the Bonneville Bruins. I've done well running hard, running harder between the tackles and using my speed to get to the outside, because last year I thought I didn't use my speed enough to get to the outside, so I've done better doing that. And coming up this game, I'm just going to just try to do the best I can to uh, help lead my team to the win. And we're getting to see some, some video of you. Running hard is important, isn't yes, it? Yes, sir. You know? And that's something that sets the example. That sets the tone for the rest of the team is your physicality. Michael, what are you going to be working on getting ready for the Bonneville Bruins this week? Lock. Locking, uh, every play I got to go hard, got to show my potential, uh, run perfect routes, just being there for my team whenever I can, do what I have to do to win. Now, Michael, you got a little size, but you got a little extra gear a little bit, so you can, you, uh, you got some pretty good speed. Since you've committed, are you kind of challenged by some cornerbacks They think that they can shut you down, you know, they, they want to challenge you a little bit? Yes, sir. I mean, I like it. How do you handle like that? I like the competition. Uh, they usually have uh, bragging me. Most of the game, I mean, most of these past games we played, these are bragging me. So I just think I take it on as a challenge. Even if I'm not getting the ball, I see what I could do to get open. So when it does come to me, I'll be, I know exactly what to do and how to use my uh, routes. Well, Michael and Trey, thank you for being here today. You're terrific representatives of Holy Cross Tigers, Holy Cross men.